Hello everyone! In the previous video, we presented very shortly almost all types of diets, but in this video, we will focus on the simplest type of diet, small sinal diet. The small sinal diet is one of the most common type of diets and it's frequently used in electronic circuits. It is a small device that works with small currents and it is suitable for high frequencies applications. How to recognize a small sinal diode? Generally, the PN junction of a small sinal diode is encapsulated in glass to protect the PN junction and usually has a red or black band at one end of their body to help identifying which end is the cathode terminal. The most widely used of all the glass encapsulated sinal diodes is the very common 1N4148 and its equivalent 1N914 sinal diode. Small sinal and switching diodes have much lower power and current ratings compared to rectifier diodes, but they can function better in high frequency applications or in clipping and switching applications that deal with short duration pulse wave forms. We already know how a simple diet is working from the previous videos, but the most important is to know about the way a diode opens and its voltage current real characteristics. Now let's see where we can use these small signal diodes. These diodes can be used to protect other components from voltage spikes. It can be seen in this circuit that we have an inductor that will get charged when the switch is turned on. When the switch is on, the diode does not conduct because it is in reverse bias. Voltage on cathode is higher than on the anode. When the switch is turned off, the inductor is already charged and the energy on it will have to go somewhere and it will go through the diode as the diode will close the circuit. The energy from the inductor is dissipated as heat by the diode. Other example can be the protection against ESD and high voltage, low current and short duration signals. Electrostatic discharge ESD, is the release of static energy when two objects come into contact. For example, we consider ESD simulated as human body model with a voltage of 2 kV. First, we have to charge the capacitor at the high voltage we want. Then we want to release the energy from the capacitor in a pulse similar to the one from ESD. We can see that the diode absorbs the pulse and drains its energy in order to protect the load. Clamping and DC restoration. The diode from these circuits are used with a capacitor for adding a DC level to an AC signal. This circuit is used for altering the DC level in a good way and is also called a level shifter. Also, you can reset the upper and lower limits of a square wave signal. Wave shaping or clipping. Diode clipper circuits or diode limiter circuit is a circuit that can shape the waveform of an AC signal. It clips or cuts off the top half or bottom half of an AC signal if you use one diode and if you are using two diodes then you can clip both halves from an AC signal. This can also be used in a rectifier with half wave or full wave. For half wave, we will only cut the negative alternating side and allow only passing the current on the positive wave. Also, the amplitude of the signal will be lower as the diode has a voltage drop over it, normally of 0.7 volts if it's made of silicon. In general, the small signal diode is not used for rectifiers because usually the signal to be rectified it's having a higher amplitude and it will not be a small signal anymore. 
Small signal diodes are also used for voltage regulation. We can use a small signal diode or some signal diodes in series. A signal diode has a constant voltage drop across it when it is forward biased. When we use some diodes in series, we can obtain a lower level signal. Of course that this type of diodes can be used also in other applications, but these ones are the most used circuits in which you can use these diodes. If you find this information useful, click on subscribe button and share it also with your friends. See you next time!